this question is asking, which of these statements is not true in light of Fourier theory? So part A says, if you have a pure sine wave and you pass it through a clipping circuit, this will alter the shape of the resulting spectrum. So what does a clipping circuit do? It basically, it limits the amplitude there by setting a maximum value and a minimum value for the amplitude. So this clipping here will fundamentally change the shape of the signal. It's no longer a sine wave. It's not a square wave, it's not a sine wave, it's some distorted sine wave. So its spectrum cannot remain unchanged. So the resulting spectrum, so the spectrum of a sine wave looks something like this. That's the spectrum of a sine wave. But if we distort the sine wave by introducing um, or by clipping it, we will necessarily have high frequency components. So we'll have something going on at 2F0, 3F0, etc. So that will alter the shape of the resulting spectrum. Whereas, if we were to pass it through a clamping circuit, the clamping circuit just adds DC. So the clamping circuit just lifts the circuit up. Or it could lower it down, but basically it's adding DC. So what does adding DC do to our spectrum? So let's say we had the exact same spectrum here. If we were to add DC, that would add itself there. That's the DC. It's the so-called A0 term. So what we're doing is we are changing the spectrum, but not the shape of the spectrum. It'll only affect the component at 0 hertz. It's only affecting the DC. So this is true. Part C. The spectra of periodic time signals are also periodic in frequency. Again, the spectra of a periodic time signal is periodic in frequency. So if I had a periodic time signal like that, will its spectrum be periodic? Well, we know the spectrum's going to look something like that. And that isn't periodic. We describe that as being discrete. So we can say that the spectrum of periodic time signals are discrete. In frequency. That would have been correct. But to say they're also periodic, that's not correct. So that is wrong. So the spectrum of periodic time signals are discrete, yes, but they're not periodic. Part D, the spectrum of a DC signal is a zero impulse, a single impulse at zero hertz. So that's a DC signal. In the time domain, how would that look in the frequency domain? How many components would it have? Would it have a fundamental? Well, it's a DC signal, so it's not periodic. So there's no fundamental, there's just a DC value there, A0. And all the other components are zero. Even the way I'm drawing it is incorrect because there's no fundamental. But that's how we would do it. We would say N, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it would consist of a single impulse. That's the only non-zero component that we have. So... The question was, which of the following is not true? And the one that's not true 
is this one here, C. That's the statement that's not true.